Good day subscribers, it's me, the finance guy, back with another video today, and today guys, I just wanted to say sorry I couldn't get you a video, I wasn't here um, yesterday, I was a little busy doing some other stuff and I just couldn't get to making a video yesterday. With that being said, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about what's been going on in the stock market and what I find really interesting right now. Now, currently, the S&P 500 is going back to the high point that we had at the beginning stages of this year. We're about to reach that point again, and the true test, if we're going to continue on with this bull market, I think will happen at this point. Earnings seasons is coming in right now, interest rates are rising from the banks, making banks more profitable, and stocks are kind of finding purchase in all kinds of different areas. The things that really scare me or make me wonder what's going on um, with this explosive growth is tech. Tech is absolutely being incredibly overvalued in my opinion. I think it's just going uh, too exponentially high and I could see a massive pullback with that um, and some other major four major stocks or five major stocks that are kind of controlling the good part of the S&P 500. How much money is being pushed up into these stocks is a little concerning and I think eventually, like I've said many times, there will be a pullback. With that being said, let's just kind of look at a chart and see where it's going right now. So we have been on this upward bull run for a very long time and um, I think things are becoming extraordinarily overvalued but it seems like the trend line is holding for where the stock market is going. It seems to be going nothing but good and up and it seems that we're almost to the point only 2% away almost from where we were in February. Also in news, eBay has also fallen um, almost 19% over the past three months. Something that I kind of like seeing in a stock is maybe buying into weakness and selling into strength. This could be an opportunity, who knows? Um, and it's almost 8% uh, down for the year. So this company has been uh, doing a little bit of a pain right now, but I think they could pull it off in time. Also in the news, it looks like Bitcoin is rising another almost 20%. This is something I haven't seen in a little while, so I'm curious to see how that will pan out in the future with Bitcoin on the rise potentially again. And also, I just kind of wanted to talk to you about another company, Canopy Growth. Seems to be on a little bit of a dip right now. If you're interested in buying shares of that company, maybe you keep an eye out on it. Obviously, it's extraordinarily overvalued. Um, <laughs> I can't tell you how many stocks are extraordinarily overvalued at this point. I think that the market is getting absolutely uh, ludicrous when it comes to some of their um, overpricing on a lot of their stocks, and it's nothing that I really like to see. I like to see more blood in the water, something that kind of like has been going on with eBay before I start to get invested into a company, um, just because you know, I, I like things that um, are on the cheap. eBay, I think, is one of those companies that just really didn't hit the mark, and so they had a bit of a falling out. And the trade war that's going on right now is still looming overhead, and I think it could be the axe that could be coming down on this, you know, economic market. But we'll see how that pans out for the future. I'm I'm still more worried about that than some of the other things. As always, social media links are down in the description. And I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Do you think the stock market will continue to have this massive rally for the next two years? Do you think we're going to have a nice 10, 12, 15% increased years? Or do you think we're actually going to be moving into a bear market? I think that, you know, that is a possibility, just like it is a possibility that we continue in a bull market. That's why I still have shares in stocks. But it's also why I'm stockpiling cash, just in case I can find buying opportunities in the future. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you guys again next time.